Okay, this is going to be a Let's Kill episode, and uh, we're set to Master, and I'm on this quest, the heart of Dabella. Um, I'll show you where I am. Uh, this quest actually starts, you go to the uh, Temple of Dabella in Markarth, sort of right at the top near the Understone Keep, and eventually you'll pick up this quest and it sends you to Carthwast and Carth Waste and and the bloke then sends you down here to rescue his daughter from um, Broken Tower. Um, I think this quest actually gives you, if you complete it, gives you a permanent active effect of, I think, plus 10% damage to the opposite sex on your weapons. Um, if that's not right, I'll actually correct that in the... I'll put an annotation up or something, but I think that's this quest. So I've been watching for a minute here, and what we've actually got is four enemies on the outside. There's that lady there. There's a lady up the top there, and another one there. And the fourth one is this lady walking here. So this this enemy here, she just actually sits on that chair, then she walks a path over to about there, and then it sits back down again. And the enemy up there actually just sits on that grindstone, then walks a path back over to here. The lady down here, she walks a path down to here. Now if you watch, she turns to the right when she gets to the end of her path. So what I want to do is I want to kill her about where she's standing now, um, so I'm not anywhere within line of sight of this lady. I don't think I would have been, but I'm not sure. So the idea is to get down there and get to her when she actually turns at the bottom of that path and get an easy kill on her. Probably could get away with archery here and, and get all four of these guys out of the way, but I think I'll just do it this way. So I can just follow her, and then when she turns... Um, just roll behind her and get an easy kill. It's sort of dead simple. Could have done it a bit quicker, I suppose. Rolled and, and attacked in one motion and made it prettier, but it was a nice clean kill anyway. So I have been in this place on a couple of other characters, I think. Um, I don't. I know it's full of force worn. I don't remember the layouts or anything. So. The, It'll be interesting to see what I come up against the lady right there straight away. Um, right, so she's not going to detect me. I can come up to here and have a bit better look. Ah, uh, there's a lady up the top there moving. What I might actually do is I th just double check. I've got throw voice active on this character. And this character is the Wood Elf character I've been using in the last couple of Let's Kills. It's not the um, one I've been doing the current Let's Play series with. Um, so this character has got throw voice with a couple of dragon souls put into it. So what I'll do is I'll put... Yeah, there's a staircase there. Um, I'll actually put throw voice up there. I've got tons of room to retreat. And I'll actually suss out what's in there. So there's two enemies in there. So there's one running up the stairs and one up above. Um, I might actually go over into this room here behind that lady. There'll be nothing here, I knew that, because the only two come up on the HUD when I use throw voice, so one lady was above me and the other lady was here. At least I think the one above was a lady. So all I've got to do now is just be patient. Um, she's coming back to uh, reset where she was originally standing, and i just got to wait for her to reset. And what I'll do is I'll take the odds that the lady above me won't hear me kill her. If she does, I'll just go invisible. So I get an easy kill on this lady here, and hopefully don't get detected by line of sight, and nothing. I'll just duck behind this pole. I think what I'll do is I'll put throw voice on the ground here as well, and then I'll retreat back into here. That second enemy should come down the stairs to where I um, put throw voice on the ground. She'll see the body and have a bit of a look. Um, Probably tell me she's going to find whoever did this. Um, I'm just going to be patient for a second. She will look at the body for sure. I'm going to find whoever did this. Yeah, and that's just really understanding the artificial intelligence. Now she's done her thing, and I'll get an easy kill on her as she walks away. Right, so I'm pretty safe in here now. Um, throw a voice would have alerted any other enemies that were close to me in here, so 
I think I'll just, there's a door there. Quest marker's this way, so I think I'll head off the quest marker. Right, and that leads me to a dead end, so I guess I've got to go through that door. There's a pressure plate there. Wouldn't have affected me because I've got silent roll, so I've got the perk in the. I don't activate them. There's a lady down there. She's coming straight towards me. Um, I might see if I can get her to run over the trap and kill herself, so I'll put throw voice there. And she's going to come, and I'll just retreat around the corner here. And hopefully get a an easy kill on her. Killed herself in the trap. Just be careful the body's not actually on the trap. It triggers it again as you walk around the corner. Okay, so where are we going now? So again, there can't be many other enemies close to me, otherwise throw voice would have um would have triggered it. Yeah, chest, I'll come back and clean all that stuff up later. Yeah, door. There's another door up here. So this door here will probably take me out onto that balcony where I um, was show where I first um, was looking at those enemies, those other enemies. Yeah, there's the lady sitting there, and where's this lady here? She's there. Um, I'm going to take her out straight away because I know she'll get off that eventually and walk this way. And um, there's a fair bit of time between how she does that. There's this lady here. And now I've shot myself in the foot because she's gonna... I'm just gonna shoot her. She's gonna sit down and look my way straight away soon. So I'll put a shot on her. I was sort of indecisive then. I wanted to go for the kill cam. I wanted to put an arrow somewhere here and lead her to it, but... Um, she only walks a short path. What's in here? Don't you dare crash game. Alright, so let's go back in. This is not the door we came out. So where are we? Where have we got to go? West marker is this way. What is here? Where does this go? Okay, that's where we killed those two, so we do have to go this way. Right, staircase. Every time you come to a staircase, there's an enemy. Well, most times. And there's a trip wire right there. And I can hear an enemy. If I activate the trip wire, will it kill her? I'll get out of here. Right, I'm gonna put an arrow up here and see if I can get her to come to me. And it'll also tell me if there's more enemies just a just around here somewhere. I've still only got one on the HUD and hopefully I've got two on the HUD, three on the HUD up there. What the hell are they doing? They're tripping over the rocks. Come down here. Okay, she's coming to me. I'm going to see if I can keep pulling him towards me. And then get him to reset and walk away from me and uh, get an easy kill. They've come this far. Um, hopefully they do come to the where the arrow was fired from. This lady's going to come here. 
And now I should be able to get a kill as she walks away. And where's the th why I'm hesitating is there was three come on the HUD before and I'd like to know where the third one is ah the rocks have killed her there's one there and she's been killed by the rocks so I'll take her alright we should be free to proceed And I actually went one roll too many then straight out that door. Could have actually peeked the corners. Okay, we got a door to go through. And if you remember when I was sitting on the other side of the hill looking at this place, I'm expecting there to be one more enemy because this is taking me to Skyrim, so there should be an enemy out here. And there she is there. Uh, she's an easy walk up hill. And the quest mark is leading us in here, so we should be nearly getting close to this because we will be at the top of this tower now. Oh, there's a, um, a rune on the floor in front of me there. And that guy there. This guy's easy. Don't go near the rune. Invisible. He's actually just you can't hide from me. very alert. That guy, I'd say. Um, there was really no reason he he should have heard me. Then he's probably just programmed to be um, aggro to s when you come into his area. Where are you? I'm hiding. I'm invisible because my potions are stronger than your magic. And no panic, these are 55 second now. potions. And an easy kill. He's a Briarheart. And I would have liked a nice kill cam on that guy to finish him off. Rune. If you want to work out how to get rid of runes, I'm tipping that's the end of the quest it is. Um, Runes are really easy to get rid of um, if there's no one around or you want to, or you got room to retreat, and that's use your shout. Um, use unrelenting force on them, force? and it'll blow them up if you get into a spot where you need to get rid of runes. All right, so that is us done. We rescue this little girl, and that's the end of the quest. Are you one of them? Please don't hurt me. I'm not one of them. Said. I'm touched by the gods. Oh, you're full of yourself, and you're only seven. Uh, okay, all right. That's the end of this. Uh, let's kill. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'll empty this port of its goodies and escort this woman back to Narkath.